in this video we're going to have a look at the second rollover image uh, in our website um, we could change it in exactly the same way that we did the first one um, but in this instance we're actually going to delete it and create a new rollover button from scratch so if we go from here back to Dreamweaver you'll see that I've already got the index page and the template page open and all you need to edit things on the template page in those areas uh, because they're locked in other pages and what I'm trying to do is delete uh, this rollover image there so if we just click on it and press backspace and that will delete it okay I'll leave the text in underneath for the moment um, and then what I need to do I need to insert a new rollover image um, but before I do that I need to make sure that I've got two images uh, that I'm going to use so let's have a look at the images folder Okay, and as we can see here, we add two over and add two up. Now, I don't have to edit these images. I could just save over the top of them. Um, I don't need to necessarily use these image names as we're going to in, in, import. I don't necessarily need to use these image names as I'm going to insert the image. And uh, I can put whatever image in I like regardless of the name. So if we edit these uh, in our image editing application, just to create the new images. Let's just select all of that and then delete using backspace. And this image, uh, I've already got the components prepared here so I'll just copy those paste those into place change the background color change it to white and there we go and because I'm not changing the name I can just save that it's very similar to the last tutorial and back to my images and just edit my add to over image again I'm just going to copy everything from this pre-prepared image here using control and C to copy And then control and V to paste. Modify the background colour. And then we can save that. Control S to save. And we're ready now to uh, insert the rollover images into Dreamweaver. So let's go back to Dreamweaver. So if we click where we want to insert the image, which is down here. Don't forget you need to be on the template page to be able to click in this area. I then need to go to insert image object and roll over image. If we select that and we get this dialog that pops up here uh, we can name our image and this is going to be advert 2 the original image is the image that will show when the website first loads so this is the first image that the user sees so in our images folder that will be add to up add to up and then the rollover image is the image uh, it will be displayed when the mouse rolls over the image area. Okay. Now this alternate text area here, uh, this is the text that will be displayed in the image area if the image doesn't load. Um, 
Uh, it's about accessibility and readability of the site and we need to uh, in this alternate text area explain what the image is. Just a simple uh, one or two words will suffice. So the alternate text for uh, this rollover image is Formula One Shop as this will be a button that users can click on to link to the Formula One Shop. So we've added the alternate text which helps to make the website accessible to all uh, for those with very slow connections for example the images uh, may take some time to load and people may actually have images disabled um, so that only the alternate text will actually display. Um, the next area that we need to complete is the URL the user will be taken to when the button is clicked. So we need to go to Google and actually find the URL that we want to take users to. So if we go back to Google, you'll notice that I've already got the uh, link open, so I just need to copy this URL at the top. Again, I can use Control and C to copy. Back to Dreamweaver. And paste that address in there and again similarly to the last tutorial make sure you've got http colon forward slash forward slash at the start and then we can just press OK and that is our second advert that's in there and that is a clickable rollover button that we can use to take users to an external website Again, we have text underneath that we can just change to explain to users uh, what this button is for. So if we just select the text that we want to link to, so it's click here, and we can see that I've already put the link in there ready to go. I just need to change the actual text down here. So click here to visit and we want to tell people that they can click there to visit the Formula One shop. Okay, and then we can just save yes, update the other pages. Save any other pages that you've got open. And if we view this in our internet browser now, we should see that the second rollover button works and takes us to the Formula One store. So the rollover functions, and if we click it, takes us straight to the Formula One store as we intended.